Well, let me break it down just a little bit and go through several of the arguments that people would uh, make to say that the bleaker look at democracy is actually more appropriate. So um, probably number one would be people have lost faith in their democratic institutions. And this is true across even consolidated democracies. We all know those polls about how Americans feel about their Congress, uh, how Americans feel about the media, how they feel about uh, even uh, the, the uh, Supreme Court at this point. Really, the only institution that seems to have widespread support in the United States would be the military. So uh, how are we to think about the lack of faith in institutions um, as a harbinger for trouble for democracy going forward. Because Neil, you, you make the very good point that populism isn't necessarily anti-democratic, but it is a force that says go around your institutions, go around your elites directly to the people. That is the sort of definition of populism. So um, this breakdown of faith in institutions, which Madison would have said was absolutely essential to self-governing, uh, is that one reason to be concerned about democracy? No, I think it's a wake-up call to the institutions. I mean, you mentioned uh, just then the media, uh, and it's certainly true that public respect for the media, for a free press, is at a very low ebb in the United States, but can you blame people for feeling that way? Uh, can you blame people for having a very low view of professional politicians, uh, of legislators in Congress? It seems to me that it's entirely understandable that the public feels that way. And the fact that it has a high level of respect for the military uh, is also significant, because that wasn't true in the 1970s at the time of Vietnam. And what we could, what can see in the military is uh, it learned some important lessons from Vietnam and has done an enormously good job of cleaning up its act and winning back public respect. And Connie, that is what the media have to do, because they have lost it. And I think they've lost it badly. 